What is up guys? Welcome to my closet. The lighting probably won't be the best in this video because we are in my closet. You are also partially in my bathroom, hence the very yellow lighting. But today I thought it would be a good idea to do a closet cleanup video since I need to do it. Hopefully you guys like this type of video. Um, I really enjoy watching these on YouTube, so I figured why not make my own? And I actually clean my closet pretty often, so this shouldn't be too bad, but I haven't done it in probably like three months-ish. And there are a few things that either A, aren't my style anymore, B, I have not worn enough times for me to even remember. C, I do want to donate some things and just make some room in my closet for newer items. D, honestly, I just really like having a more minimalistic closet. So with all of that being said, welcome to my closet clean out. This is my closet. It's kind of hard to see. It also goes down to this way. I guess I could show you guys. So I just turned you guys around so I can give you like a little overview of my closet. So walking into the door, there's like this little hanging situation and then I have a bar that goes all the way across and then I have things on this bottom shelf. Shoes are down here. I have more clothing hung up right there and then I also have a drawer that has like socks and underwear for Jordan and I in there and bathing suits. I also have more bathing suits up there. I also have a printer stored in my closet so I think I'm gonna start with this little section over here um, and then just kind of like work my way around the closet because I moved here so you can see like what part I'm working with and it made the lighting kind of bad so um, moving on. This is where I hang up any like dresses, skirts, rompers, things like that. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so right off the bat, I have a dress. It is a Brandy Melville, like, little black and red striped body fun dress. And it's super flattering on, like, it fits really well, but I don't really wear it anymore. I think I wore it a few summers ago. And it's a nice, like, thick material, so if you don't like to wear a bra, you don't have to. Oh, also, while I'm going through here, I'm gonna make a few different piles. I normally donate all of my clothing. I have never sold anything before, but there are a few things in my closet right now that I think um, I may potentially sell. I think I'm gonna make like two piles, things that are gonna be donations, and then things that I wanna sell or like give away. So if there's something in the video that you might be interested in, just um, let me know via down in the comments or DM me or something like that, and we can go from there. But anyways, back to the dilemma. See, the issue with me is like, I don't hold on to a lot of stuff. My style changes so rapidly, but sometimes I hold on to items because I think that I'm gonna make outfits out of them or that I'm gonna wear them and then I just never do. And this is one of those. Like I always think I'm gonna wear it with something or like style it and I never do. We're gonna go ahead and give up. Okay, so I was just standing here looking at this dress. It's a really cute dress and it fits really good and it's nice because like again, it's like a thick material. You don't have to wear a bra with it if you don't want to. This is from Urban. I wore this on the night of my 23rd birthday and maybe like once or twice after that and I don't ever wear it. And it's not because I don't like it, it's just I don't wear it. I don't know. So I'm like torn because I haven't worn it enough but I don't wear it and it's been well over a year. I'm gonna get rid of it because I love it, I just never wear it. Ugh, oh, that kinda hurts. Okay, so now I have two things right here, two red items. This is a like tropical printed red jumpsuit. It's like I said, really hard to tell, but there are legs, but I really don't think I'm gonna wear it like, all this summer. All right, I'm gonna get rid of it because I just don't wear it. You just don't wear it. The next red up article of clothing is this jumpsuit. And it kind of looks like PJs, but I love it. And it's so comfortable. And I feel like I can like revamp it and wear it differently now. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. Yeah, I already got rid of the other red jumpsuit, so I'm gonna keep this one, I think. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. Keep it. Okay, finalized. Why you gotta go? Why you gotta go? I 
Okay, so this whole side is done and everything else I love and I wear for like special occasions, so I'm gonna keep it. So we are done with this little side. So we're gonna work with this half of my closet. Um, this is all sweatshirts, hoodies, pullovers, and that's really it. Okay, so first off is this. And it's just this little like cropped half zip. It's from Urban Outfitters. I really do like it, I just never wear it. I can't decide if I like it like as an outfit or more as like a lounge piece. So it just sits in my closet. I don't know, like I like it and I love the little like high neck kind of like mock neck part of it. This one I'm gonna sell. See, I love this one, okay? It's like this pale yellow sweatshirt, and I do love it. My only thing is that I don't really love the fit of it, like, down here. I didn't get it oversized enough. I got it in a small, and honestly, I probably should have gotten it in, like, a medium or even bigger than a medium. It's super cute, and I love the color of it, but I don't like the fit of it, so I'm trying to decide... I mean, I guess I could crop it. I'm gonna hang on to this, and I'm gonna crop it and see what happens, see if I like it a little bit better. I can't decide. This might be hard to see, but basically, this is an Adidas pullover. It has like a, I don't even know how to, like a perforated, like you might be able to tell if I get it close enough. Adidas symbol on the front, it's also like a, mock neck kind of top. When I first got this, obsessed with it. And to be honest, I think I've worn it maybe a few times. I think it's just because I feel like it's like a little bit too small for like my personal liking down here. This is an extra small. I wish I would have maybe got, maybe the small would have been better for me. I'm not sure. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile and then depending on what you guys think I should do, do you think I should keep it? Do you think I should sell it? I'll come back for you. Uh, news, break it, break it, break it, break it. All right, so we're gonna move down. There's another um, rod going down here, and I have a few like cardigans and like sweatery things. So I'm just gonna go through those really quick and see, just to make sure I wanna keep all of them. I live in a state that gets extremely hot, so because of that reason, I don't keep a lot of um, like sweaters, which is hilarious because I have way too many hoodies and pullovers. So um, I just recently went through these, but I'm gonna go through them one more time because there's actually something I don't wear over here. Um, I used to work at American Eagle, so I had way too many flannels all of the time, and I really got rid of a lot of them a while ago. I still have one because I was always like, ah. I really like the color combination. I literally don't ever wear it. I've worn it here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. A string, a little piece of twine. I do not wear you, so I'm getting rid of you. The other end of my closet that you can't see literally just has jackets in it. For the most part, everything I have down there is like stuff I wear all the time and I love, so I'm gonna keep all of that, but there is like one thing, one or two things that I just don't need and don't wear, so. I have two things from my uh, like jacket, coat, using the word coat very lightly area. And the first one is just this black, literally everyone and their mother owned this at some point. It's a black, fuzzy North Face jacket. This thing I got so much use out of. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And then the next thing is this like jacket. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one too. I feel like I'm making a lot of like, I have a, you guys can't see them, you can see the bottom, but I have a lot of hangers that I just knocked out, so I feel very good about this. Like I already said, I do this pretty often because me personally, I love to have a closet that is full of only things that I'm wearing, that I love, that get me excited to like put on an outfit. And one of the pros of having like a more minimalistic um, smaller wardrobe in my opinion is the fact that, that it almost like forces you to get more creative with your outfits because you only have like a limited amount of bottoms or tops or sweaters or whatever it is and so you can find way more ways to wear them. Yeah, I feel really good. So we did all of my hanging. Now I have all these hangers free and ready for new fun clothing items that I actually am going to wear. I'm going to go 
on these undershelves that are pretty cool and work through that. It goes pretty deep back and it basically has sweatpants and like pajama pants in here. So I'm just gonna go through those. Okay, cool. So, sweatpants and jump pants are done. The next stack of things that I have down here are leggings. And I actually don't own a lot of leggings because I'm personally more of like a sweatpant girl. I feel like leggings, are, I only wear them if I'm like doing some sort of physical activity. So yeah, this is like a relatively easy pile for me because it's only one stack, I think. I'm gonna go through this really quickly. This one should take like two seconds. Now you win infinity, we 98, trust that he be good. The only two pairs of leggings I'm gonna get rid of are this like old black pair of Victoria's Secret like yoga pants. The next pair is just like this regular gray pair of cotton leggings and these have a hole in them. The next is like shorts, um, like sleep shorts or biker shorts or athletic shorts. So I'm gonna go through this really quickly. All right, so two shorts, getting rid of. The next huge pile I have right here are all like t-shirts, sleep shirts. I made this significantly smaller than it was like two or three months ago. I had like three piles of these. I don't know if any of you can relate, but if you did any sport in high school or even like college, any extracurricular activity, and you bought a t-shirt for any event at any time, I was the person who just, I just kept every single t-shirt. I have such an emotional attachment to t-shirts, it's disgusting. This is like a huge downgrade. It's still like too big for me. I'm gonna go through these really quickly and try to part a ways with some more of them because I just don't wear them all and like they're taking up space. The tallest pile and it's lopsided and it's ugly and I just want to only have a few sleep t-shirts. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking I used to wear the shirt all of the time. It was literally one of my favorite shirts because it looks like a Yale shirt, but it says Kale. I got it from Urban Outfitters a few years ago and um, I still think it's so cute, I just never wear it. Part of me right now is like, oh, you should keep it. It actually looks pretty comfortable and you might wear it. I already know I'm not gonna wear it. I feel it, you know what I mean? Like you, you're looking at it and you're like, I'm telling myself I'm gonna wear you, but I know I'm not going to. You're just gonna take up room in my closet. And that's this shirt. It's super cute if you tie it up in the front with just some jeans, you know what I mean? Little kale top, now I want it. But I know I'm not going to, but I know I'm not going to. Okay, I'm getting rid of it. I actually might sell the shirt though because it's still in like great condition and it's super cute. So it's a little smaller. I'm gonna take it. Four or five t-shirts from the pile. So for me, it's pretty good. Um, I just have some denim like put underneath here and I have denim shorts. So um, most of these jeans I'm gonna end up keeping because I got them like recently or within the last few years and I wear them all the time. So these, if you've watched any of like my off videos, you might have seen these before. Um, but these are just a pair of BDG, so like Urban Outfitter brand. They're the Girlfriend High Rise Denim. Loved these so, 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 so much. My only thing with these is that I do not think that they fit me. Okay, so I'm gonna put these jeans on really quick to see if they even fit anymore or like if I'm even gonna wear them. Don't mind my bed, I'm washing my sheets, but um, they just, like, they're so cute. They just don't, they're not comfortable. Like, they're way too tight around my butt now that they do that thing where they kind of, like, flatten my butt, if that makes sense. Like, too tight around my thigh. They're a great wash, and they're a nice high-rise, uh, like, length. I just, yeah, they kind of hurt, so. I'm gonna take these off. I think these are gonna go into the donation pile, but here that I'm iffy about are my 501 ripped Levi's. So, 
so so cute and I love them however I don't know if I like love the way that they fit me personally I like like the wedgie fit Levi's I think better on my body type as much as it like pains me it literally pains me to let these go I think I'm going to because I have other ones in my closet that I actually wear way more often I don't wear these ones enough and I just feel like I'd rather give them to someone who's gonna wear them all the time they deserve love and attention and I'm not providing enough love and attention so I think these need a new home going in the cell okay selling selling sell. if the angle or anything looks different or the lighting to be honest if the lighting is different it's because um, I had to wait a little bit my camera battery died so we are back in business I'm going to just do my tops really quick and then I'm just gonna do all of my tops right now. I'm gonna grab my long sleeves, my like, little croppy short tank top things, all of it. Um, these are all of like my like tops that I wear out and about. Okay, so I have a few more tops that I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell as well. So first is this top that I actually got last summer, and I only wore it one time, and it, I wore it out, and it was super cute and really comfortable. Um, it's kind of hard to show now, but when I list these items, or if like one of my friends wants them, I'll take a picture of myself wearing it, but it just ties up in the front where you can like tie it around your body. And I also have this cute lacy top. I think I literally have worn this one time. It's super cute though. It um, has these puffy sleeves, deserves to go to a home of some cutie patootie who's actually going to put together a cute outfit. That cutie patootie is not me, so selling. Okay, I'm actually gonna keep this, I think, because I do wear it just like around my house or whatever. Okay, we'll keep the Princess Polly top. Okay, but we'll get rid of this. So um, this is a bodysuit. And it is like a burnt orange. Like I said, the lighting's kind of weird because the sun's almost down and I'm in the closet. But um, it's like a burnt orange color. It's too long on me, so it sits really, really low. So I'm actually going to get rid of this as well. And then last but not least is this super cute t-shirt. Um, I'm kind of iffy about what I want to do with this one as well. But I think I'm going to get rid of this too. It's also from Urban Outfitters. That concludes the closet clean out. Um, I'll show you guys what the piles are looking like. One decently sized pile of donation, one decently sized pile for um, selling, and then those are just not gonna, those have holes in them. So yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thanks so much for um, doing a little quarantine clean out with me. I feel so much better and clean and refreshed and ready for some new spring and summer. Pieces. I'll leave all my social media linked down below like I say every single time. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more uh, content such as this. Hopefully better lighting. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for visiting me in my closet. I'll see you guys not in my closet. Okay, bye.